guys. I have some uh, interesting videos coming up. I think you guys will uh, be edified by uh, the content of the videos. It's going to be about a special kind of steel that not everybody is aware of called flash bayonite. And it's a special metallurgical process that yields a steel that is pound for pound stronger than titanium. Okay. And it, uh, it allows for the steel to uh, be very, very strong yet remain ductile. The problem with a lot of hardening of steel is it makes it brittle. For instance, our AR500 steel, okay, which you guys may know about for uh, using for targets. You know, you can buy it on eBay, AR500 six-inch rounds or ten-inch rounds or whatever, uh, and various thicknesses up to half inch or more. Uh, make great targets for shooting at, uh, as long as you know it, the the steel can move, and so it can. You know, it's like a gong. You hit it, it swings. And uh, a lot of the energy is, is relieved that way, and, uh, and it won't penetrate right through it like it will through mild steel when you're shooting with 7.62 or 5.56 or 2.23 or even 30-06 and things. will just punch right through mild steel, and, and it'll bounce off of uh, AR-500, and sometimes it won't even uh, crater it. It depends on the energy of the round. Anyway, this steel okay, outperforms AR-500 steel and uh, it can uh, sustain multiple hits that are lacing each other uh, without penetration or cracking uh, and it's also more ductile when it uh, is getting something like a, a, a 20 millimeter uh, you know explosive round hits it or something or the uh, shrapnel that comes off of that and uh, so it's it's a very good product for our military, for our law enforcement, and for civilians that want to uh, arm up and protect themselves uh, in case of uh, WROL. And so uh, I did some research on this material. You can find uh, Flash Bayonite on eBay, okay, but I went to an AR-15 forum and uh, I noticed that the, the maker, uh, who, Gary Cola, okay, who spent uh, great portion of his life developing this steel and has been promoting this steel and has uh, working on uh, getting some uh, interest in the military for this for armor plate and whatnot is uh, is a great guy he he's incredibly dedicated to his mission okay and uh, so I contacted him directly and uh, spoke with him and uh, asked him if he would sell me a single curve 10 by 12 plate uh, for my chest rig and uh, we got to talking about different things and you know there's there's con some concerns when you're running bare steel okay you're gonna get splatter uh, when an extremely high-powered rifle round hits that steel it splatters at a very oblique angle and it could sever your femoral arteries it could even uh, cut open your face your chin your neck depends on how it hit and what angle it could even come up and the shrapnel from that rifle round could kill you, okay? So uh, I was talking to him about ways of uh, mitigating splatter, and he's going to, uh, at no charge, he's going to send me one of his prototype uh, splatter guards uh, that goes on his 10x12 uh, plate. This is a special steel to begin with, with a special process that makes it uh, superior to other AR-500 plate, and uh, and it's also bent in a single radius die on a 450 ton press, so that's not put into a break and given creases. You'll notice a lot of the steel plates if you look on eBay. If you look closely, you can see where it's been put into a break in about four places to make it curve to your body. Uh, he those create work hardened areas, and so by pressing in a single die it's a superior product uh, in all regards there's no work hardened areas uh, and this and the steel is uh, better than AR-500 steel well if that wasn't good enough uh, Gary was telling me uh, tonight that he is developing some AR-600 steel uh, which is crazy and it'll stop rounds that will punch right through AR-500 steel at 50 feet 
So that's a very exciting product, and he's going to make those available to civilians and to the general public. Um, again, uh, a little more expensive than his other plates, um, but first of all, if you're price conscious and you're prepping up, uh, you will not find a better priced armor plate than from uh, Gary Cola over at uh, Flash Banite. And uh, I'm not kidding you guys. I mean, it, if, if you're even thinking about whether you should get an armored vest or wear armored plates or you're looking at sappy plates that are two to five hundred dollars a piece or you're looking at bulletproof Kevlar vests that are three to five hundred dollars a piece for fifty dollars plus twelve dollar shipping you can get yourself a 10 by 12 curved steel operators plate you know with the cuts at the top how can you go wrong with that guys Think of the $50 that you probably spent going out to dinner with somebody, right? Or the $50 you just put in gasoline in your vehicle. You could buy a steel armored plate for your chest rig and just have it sitting there in the closet in case you ever needed it. Because it's better to be looking at it than looking for it, guys. So I'll be following this up with some actual uh, testing. He's sending me a, uh, another piece of steel uh, to test so I can shoot at it with different things and uh, and I think it's going to be uh, very uh, elucidating to see what happens uh, we're, I'm going to try and set up some uh, rigs so we can check splatter like put uh, paper around it so that uh, when I shoot it uh, we can see what kind of splatter effects there are and then see how his splatter shield mitigates those effects and I'm going to try and do a series of videos basically about this because first of all I really want to promote this steel. I remember hearing about this five years ago and I kept waiting for it to come to market and come to market and come to market and I thought that for, by now everybody would be using the steel because it can be used for everything. It can be used for cars, it can be used for buildings, it can be used for anything that's made out of steel because it's a special process that allows the steel to be stronger and more ductile than any other kind of steel of the same hardness and that means you can use less of it to make lighter cars you can make stronger buildings you know stuff like that so these kind of things to me when they get held back by the usual corruption and the usual things because he's had to fight uh, hostile takeovers he's had to fight smear campaigns he's had to fight corruption in the military you know because you know how all that stuff goes they want this and then you get that kind of thing and this guy's a super straight shooter and he's just trying to bring something to market I'm gonna help him so this is my very first video promoting flash bayonite steel for Gary Cola and uh, when the product arrives guys I think you're gonna be uh, absolutely knocked out by it so that's it just a little teaser there so get ready to get armored up